let me tell you about my car. I bought my car a couple years ago, so it's maybe three years old, two and a half, I don't know. Anyway, it's not very old. So I'm driving on the interstate. I was going to meet my parents for lunch. Pardon my dog, he's decided he's going to play right now. Um, but I'm driving on the interstate. Uh, I'm on my way first to go feed my friend's cats and then I'm gonna go to lunch with my parents. So I'm behind this truck that has a bunch of janitor supplies. I'm between two cars, so I can't really go anywhere. And a mop bucket flies out of the back of this truck and before it can bounce, it goes directly under my car. My car is an SUV, but it's not tall enough to totally miss a mop bucket. The mop bucket gets stuck underneath my car and as I'm pulling over, the mop bucket just shatters. I'm watching pieces just fly from out, of, out under my car and I am about to cry. I was really close to my friend's apartment, so I decided I'm not going to pull off on the interstate just yet. It's going to take me like five minutes to get to her apartment. If I pull off on the interstate and the front of my car is messed up, I'm going to have a mental breakdown on the side of the interstate. So I decide to go over there. So I get parked in her garage. I look at the front of my car. It looks fine from the front. There's just like a little nick on the bumper, but I get on the ground and I look underneath the car and half of my skid plate was missing. And I was like, oh my gosh. So something is leaking also, it's a, a blue liquid. And I was like, okay, well that could probably be like two things. And it's cold outside, so if it is the coolant, um, my car won't overheat, but I'm still gonna take it in the shop later. Anyway, I feed the cats, I go meet my parents for lunch, and then I, I walk in and I'm like, let me tell you what just happened. To my baby and I tell them and then dad's like file an insurance claim yada 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 and so you know whenever I go to work um, the next well let's see that was a Saturday so uh, I go to work on Monday because I don't want to call the generic line just because I want to talk to my agent and uh, so I call on Monday and I explain to them what happened and they're like wait what what hit you and I was like, it's a mop bucket. And they're like, oh, okay. Like one of those big yellow ones. Yes. One of the big yellow ones. It hit me. It went under my car. All that fun stuff. Told them the story. Okay. So they tell me, okay, cool. Like you have comprehensive. It's okay. We can take it into the shop. You'd pay your deductible. We'll pay the rest. And this is around Christmas time. Mind you, I take it into the collision center that my insurance recommended because you know they have their preferred people that they work with and they can't get to my car until january january 2nd and it i think i took it in on december 20 something um because you know the holidays are coming but i don't want to drive the car because i was gonna drive to east texas which is a two-hour trip from where i'm at and I didn't want to be driving my car in case something was really, really wrong with it. Um, and so luckily I had my dad's car with me. So I take my car to the shop. I leave it at the shop. Um, they do a look over and oh, by the way, whenever I take it over to the shop, it starts snowing and it's really windy and icy. And they, t they tell me to um, use my washer fluids, fluids the washer spray fluid whatever it is because they thought that may, might be what is leaking and i use it and it's working and then it freezes as it's hitting my windshield and he's like oh we'll we'll just scrape that off whenever we need to move your car um and he looks under he's like okay well uh that's not a good sign if your windshield washer fluid is still in there and i said i know i know um i just don't want to drive my car um so I leave it there. I take my dad's car. They call me. Well, actually I called them cause they didn't call me within a couple of days. And then they told me they couldn't get to it until January 2nd. So I don't have my car. Um, and then they call me on January 5th ish. And he says, okay, it was a lot worse than we thought. And I said, I figured, 
because uh, originally they just thought I needed a new skid plate and maybe replace the, the thing that has the coolant. Um, no, I need a new radiator, a new condenser, a, a new whatever. Anything that keeps the car cool, I need. It jacked up so much stuff. Um, I don't even remember what else he said, but the total is going to be a little over $4,000, but I don't have to pay that. I'm paying my deductible. They're covering the rest. They are fixing the paint chips from like rocks on my car. And I was like, that's perfect. Did you know that it's $160 for the paint on an Acura? I think it's like, it's some, it's the gray paint or whatever. Anyway, so I'm not going to have my baby until the 20th at least. But um, right now I have my dad's car and my boss asked me if I wanted to drive her car because she's going out of the country for two weeks. And I said, oh, yeah, I'll drive your car. So then I'm going to give my dad's car back to him. I'm going to be driving my boss's car and fingers crossed, I'll have my car back by the time she gets back from her trip. So there's another episode of my shit show.